Hello guys, today I am going to talk about routed with routing protocol. So let's start it. Routed protocol and routing protocols, they fit in layer 3. Layer 3 is network layer of OSI model. So if you have studied OSI model, then you may have idea about network layer. So the network layer covers both these protocols. Routed protocols commonly used to carry the information, carry the data from source to destination. That is the job of routed protocol. Mostly all network layer 3 devices, they are aware about routed protocol because they want to share information somewhere in the network. Then the examples of routed protocols I brought here is IP, IPX and Apple Talk. The most popular routed protocol is IP and uh, if you want to see the IP protocol is installed in our computer is available in com computer or not we can see that using a command called ncpa.cpl so ncpa.cpl will open this dialog box and this dialog box can show you the number of interfaces where the protocol suite which is TCP IP will be installed. If the TCP IP is installed in our computer, then we can make sure router protocol is also installed. So go to the properties of this adapter, any adapter, and you can see that internet protocol version 6 and 4. These are the TCP, uh, TCP IP protocol suites installed in our computer. So now we are aware about routed protocol that is installed in our computer. Then I can talk about routing protocols. Routing protocols will actually define the best path for data. So if you are sending information to the network, then the devices in middle of the network, they are going to select any one of the path. If there are multiple paths, devices will automatically select a unique path which can be used to transfer the data. So that path will be defined by routing protocols. So here are some of the examples of uh, routing protocols, RIP, EIGRP, OSPF, BGP, and EGIS. So routing protocols, they send information to each other. So there are a number of devices in the network and you want to find out which is the best path. So all the devices in the network, they must be aware about that which path will be the best path in the network. So here is a small example I brought here for you to understand the routed protocol and the routing protocol. So the train is actually the routed protocol which is carrying information and finally it will come to a, a device, the device who is going to define the path based on the routing protocol. So once the data comes to the comes to gateway or to a device which is the end point, then the end point will be running the routing protocol. It may be router, it may be uh, computer as well or any other gateway, firewall. They are going to run the routing protocols and the routing protocol here is signals. So these signals will tell the driver which path uh, to be selected which path not to be selected so here is the small example we could understand so i hope it has been informative for you if you like the video don't forget to subscribe thank you and bye bye